Jamari, it's a very physical game out there today. Uh, kind of plays to your strengths, is it? Uh, definitely. Uh, we go hard in practice. Uh, these guys like Joe, Tarek, Landon, Justin, Perry, everybody goes hard. So uh, it's pretty much helped, helped us out with this game, simulated simulation, I guess. Now, dear, what was the difference from the first half to the second half? Uh, I felt like the first half we kind of started to slow down and started to relax instead of just keep on being aggressive and that's how you saw we kind of started to get a couple more turnovers. But uh, you know, throughout the game we kept on fighting and I think that's what helped us out the most. You know, guys didn't just frail up because it could have been times, you know, where they could have came back and cut the lead. They cut the lead actually a couple times and we could have easily just folded and let them just take it away. But, you know, we kept on playing and came out with the win. When Smart stole the ball from me and you stole it right back from him, how big a play was that for you? Uh, that was big because uh, you know I don't like to get the ball stolen from me at all, especially when, I, when it's on the dribble. But kind of hit off my leg and then he ripped it from me. But I knew he didn't have a chance to run and I was still right there, so I just tried to just you know just get a jump ball, rip it back away, and luckily I was able to get it back and uh, we came out with a with a basket. Your big three at the end, did you? You just knew you were going to shoot if you had any room there. Or? Oh, definitely. Uh, I knew the shot clock was going down, so I knew I had to make a play, and he kind of stepped back a little bit, and I just raised up. Dear, what was some of the, the chatter out there? It seemed like there was a there was a lot of talking both ways. Have you guys been part of a game where, where there was that, maybe that much talking back and forth? Uh, a couple games we had, but you know that's just that's just competitiveness. You know, guys that getting after it, trying to figure out you know figure out a way to find somebody's weakness and. You know, some guys can talk and then, you know, get out of their game, and then some guys can talk and their game get boosted. And I felt like that's what we did today. You know, they did a lot of talking, a lot of shoving and stuff like that. Um, you know, we, we you know, we came back and we just attacked them. And that's what we needed to keep, that's what we need to do. It's like, uh, Mario, that, that, the first time they started to escalate in the first half, I think there was a timeout and maybe somebody ran into you. How exactly did that, did that start? <coughs> Guy just ran into me. I guess we, he was a little heated. I guess we both heated. Uh, so uh, I don't really know what happened so fast. But, uh, that's all I remember. He just ran into me. And I, that was it. Did well, uh, either team come close to losing their cool? Do you think? With I think what five technical fouls? Is that a concern ever? Um, it's definitely a concern. We're giving guys uh, points on the free throw line, and they have to really earn them. But um, that's kind of what happens. We got two competitive teams going against each other, so uh, it's just what happens. Well, you had eight blocks today. Did you see something coming in this game? Um, what made you think you might be able to have, you know, good day blocking the ball? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, like every game I have the same mindset. Uh, I will try to I dare every shot of blocking. So I mean, today I, I think I was lucky and I got a few blocks. You, uh, at the beginning of the year, when you try to block shots, sometimes you get foul calls, and today you only had one regular foul and one technical. Uh, what are you doing different when you block shots? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, when I block, when I block it, I don't swing anymore. I just stay, I just stay straight up and I get the block. Now, do you have to work on what happens after the whistle? Mm -hmm. and do you have to work on what happens after the whistle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that a concern at all? I mean, the, the two flagrant fouls in a row and now a technical foul, I mean, like it or not, you're kind of starting to get that enforcer reputation. Um, I mean, I just got to keep my cool, stay calm, uh, always stay next play, uh, don't, don't do no dumb fouls, uh, don't act uh, don't do no, uh, not have no dumb fouls anymore. I mean, next <coughs> year, I will do better. Hey, dear, the, the last two games, you guys played a little bit better defense against two really good offensive teams. What's been the key for that? I think dudes are just starting to understand, like, you know, taking a more taking more personal with, 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 one, with each person, you know, that they don't want their man to score. And just, you know, everybody else is just kind of buying into what Coach is talking about because, you know, he's been getting on to us a lot about teams. Even today, though, they still scored a lot of points. And, you know, I felt like we had a chance to put them away and we kind of let them come back and get, get it going. And it gave them confidence. And, we, you know, we just need to work on finishing out the game and finishing teams. And 
you know, today we today we came away with the win, and you know, not not how it was supposed to end. You know, we could have it could have been much much bigger win than than it was. But you know, we just got to work on just you know finishing games and just staying in tune the whole game. Because you know, I try to tell the guys you are gonna make mistakes playing in this type of game, but it's all about how we respond. And today I felt like you know a couple of our players you know responded pretty well. Did you, you guys play with a lot more confidence and just having fun? You think? Definitely, I see. I see everybody now smiling. You know, you see a, a play happens when it's a timeout. And, you know, everybody's getting off the bench. Everybody's excited. You know, I think everybody's just starting to understand. You know, this is this is how Kansas basketball is supposed to be played. Jamar, you, 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 you had six turnovers. Um, it seemed like a lot of a lot on a lot of occasions you were almost like trying to make up for those. With uh, you made the huge shot after it got down to three. I mean, was it, was any part of that you trying to account for for the mistakes you made? No, nah, uh, you know, one thing I've, I've learned from being here since a freshman, you know, try not to think about the turnovers because, you know, if you, you know, I have the ball in my hands so, so many times doing a lot of possessions, you know, I'm going to turn the ball over, you know, I need to kind of cut it down a little bit. But, you know, coach is always talking about trying to make a play. And, you know, if I'm open, he wants me to shoot the ball. And I felt like there was some times I needed to make some plays tonight. And uh, luckily the shot, went, the shot went in. Jamari, with uh, Perry struggling, the, they needed you and Tariq to come off the bench and play well. Can you just talk about your role of coming off the bench and doing what uh, you did? I pretty much just try to come in, uh, defend, uh, rebound, and bring energy to the team. So uh, anytime I come out and do that, I think we get a better edge uh, over the opponent's big because me and uh, Tar, we we pretty good coming off the bench, and uh, a lot of teams don't have uh, like good bigs like that coming off the bench in rotation. So uh, I think we can. Pretty much when we come in and uh, Perry and uh, Joe come out, we don't really lose a step. So I think that's that's pretty much how we get our little advantage. How long have you had that uh, confidence in the free throw line jumper you hit today? Uh, I mean, me and I mean, I did like every time in practice, he always like uh, be talking about it and everything. So uh, he always give me confidence. So uh, he got open in the lane and drew, uh, draw one of my draw a defender and uh, he passed it to me. I was open, so I just shot it. Uh, I work on it all the time, but just Dear, do you think the start you guys have had in conference play has has that sent a message to the rest of the league, other than just wanting to defend your title? Definitely, I, I feel like you know we are sending a message that you know that you know guys, even though we have a lot of young guys on the team that they came and they're ready to play, you know they're ready to defend the title that that we have right now. So. If guys come in with that mindset in every game and just take it a game at a time, game at a time, and just go out there and play Kansas basketball, I feel like we have a great chance. Nadir, with all the talent around you, how much do you take it upon yourself to be the on-floor leader of this team? Uh, I have to be the leader because, you know, like I said, these guys haven't played in these type of games, and these guys, you know, they don't really know how much it really means, but they're starting to understand. You know, I've been here since the freshman. I watched Tashaun, I watched Elijah. I've seen him, seen him go through it, so... You know, I have to be able to lead out there because it was definitely times where dudes could have put their head down. You know, they made a couple mistakes, but you know, I just tried to tell you know Wayne and them guys. You know, next play, next play, that plays over. You know, at the end of the game, I told Wayne, you know, no matter what happened, just worry about this minute 13 to finish the game. And you know, he had a, two rebounds at the end of the game that helped us out, so that was good. Jamari, with your experience so far, uh, what, what was your mindset going into today's game? Another big one. Um, I mean, I always had this my uh, same mindset. Uh, do my job, rebound the ball, block shot, get position in the lane to try to score. So I, I always have the same mindset when I go, uh, when I, before every game, do, just do my job. Jamari, it's another quick turnaround. Baylor coming up on Monday. They've really struggled. So you know they're going to come in hungry. Can you talk about that? Their athleticism uh, coming in here. Um, definitely. Uh, Coach talks about uh, how they're going to come in hungry after uh, coming off a loss. And um, we just got to come in with the same mindset, take care of business, and uh, focus on them tomorrow. We're going to come in, focus on the game plan and beat them, and uh, that's pretty much our focus. Nadir, what did it mean personally to have your mom here? Oh, that was great. Uh, she hasn't seen me play since I was at uh, Booster Academy my sophomore year. So, you know, having her in the stands, a couple of my brothers and other family members, you know, that's always good to have your family here. So, you know, that was just that's a, just, a, just a blessing that my mom was able to come out here and see me play for the first time. Was it a feeling of relief in the locker room or accomplishment of the team? Uh, it was accomplishment, definitely. Uh, more than relief because, uh, you know, you know that uh, they've been talking about Oklahoma State and Kansas for a while. You know, since the beginning, yeah, that's always been here. And even before 
uh, conference play started. That's always been hands about Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State. So, you know, it's more of an accomplishment that we went out there and played our game than anything. And your, your two leading scores combined for uh, nine points today, did you? Uh, Wiggins and Ellis combined for nine points. And uh, so how huge was the bench that you're able to win a game when those two guys aren't scoring? Uh, it just shows that we have other players to come in and step up. You know, Frank made some tremendous plays down the end of the game. And, you know, guys just come in with that confidence. You know, it starts off in practice getting the confidence and dudes on, on the team believing in one another. So, you know, everybody's not going to, they're not going to come in every day and, you know, be, that, be scoring the ball as well as that. So that's why we have to have other guys to step up, and we did tonight. All right, folks.